Alrighty, my name is Joseph Kokinj. I am a winner of the 2020 Swift Student Challenge. Um, I guess I'm a WWDC scholar, maybe. Um, but yeah, this is my playground. Um, I designed it um, off of a project I had to do in computer science. Basically, the time that they gave us was um, all in Python. It was we first were shown how to um, encrypt a password using SHA-256 and then we were to t given these hashes um, and the username and the salt determine the password and basically it just showed us the importance of salting passwords instead of just purely um, hashing the password so on my first screen all you have to do here is import CryptoKit and as I do this, if I had any advice for anyone doing this in the future, basically the reason why I think I might have won is just try to use something new. I, I think I'm probably one of the few people who used CryptoKit this year, which is a brand new library that Apple provided for us. And so this isn't actually code. This is going to be um, all hard-coded in. This is all hard-coded in um, on, in hidden code on this page. It's hard-coded word by word as a tuple. Um, the word that, that I want to pop up along with the color, and the colors are in this pink, white, background, blue, yellow, red. Um, yes, so that doesn't actually w run anything. It's just the, how it pops up. Um, the problem I had early on was something really weird where in the beginning it would like only, like this word would be like I-M-P-T. It might skip a few letters. And I kind of solved that by just um, giving it a delay in the beginning. Um, a delay between the person pressing play and the first word popping up. Okay, so this is the first really important screen. Um, as you can see, I've provided a lot of notes, which also might be another reason why I won. So I guess like tip two might be to uh, provide a lot of notes. Um, oops, a little error right here, slash. So I provided the goal for the person using this. I mean, not necessarily the, the Apple employee that's reviewing it, but just to show that I'm doing this like for another student. Um, and so, also, anytime that the person needed to interact with the screen, I put um, a thing saying to do. Towards the end of completing this, I was worried about I was worried about the person not being able to complete it in time. And so, providing these to do sections, they can kind of skim through the rest of this, but they have to just know that they need to fill this out. Basically, how my play on works is you enter. A passcode that you want to hash. So I'll do five, six, seven, eight. Um, and a little note here, you know, just cute little things. Um, yeah, and so anytime that I had some code actually running something that the user could see, um, I give a little note because not everyone knows what guard let means, but I just kind of um, put something in saying, hey, we're going to make sure you have data there. Um, and it kind of shows them the really important lines. Some of the lines are skipped over and they're hidden. So after running this uh, in a similar fashion, this is all hard-coded in with a variable for the passcode to hash. Also, you might notice here that I added in uh, a variable for the time it takes for anything to print out. I think later on it ends up being a random variable, um, but for this part, some of the longer things I've sped up manually um, but yeah, here it is. This is the hashed passcode, um, and this is the code it took to do that. So on the next screen, it kind of teaches the person the what you don't want to do, which is just hashing um, the passcode by itself. And so you can see that here. Um, again, you because you can't send a variable over page to page, you have to do it again. It doesn't have to match, but it can be. So it can be loaded, literally anything. Um, yes, yeah, so same idea, and it says like the first few lines of code are identical to the last page, and it says suppose this playground were to have accidentally, where you have accidentally, oops, oh, should be leaked right here, another spelling error, um, the hash passcode you created, um, and so it says to enter a max passcode, and so this is my first kind of like helpful message for the person. So if they were to leave this at zero, um, and press go. This error cracking, check for a hint below. Um, looks like you haven't changed the max, pass, max passcode. 
um, and then I can show the solution here. The solution is to set 9999 as the max passcode. So I'll go ahead and do that. And so it gives a little hint to here. This system asks for a four digit passcode. So um, if it was a three digit passcode, your max passcode would be 999. So I'll run this and we can see that the, the Mac is going to crack the passcode. And the way this works is uh, it's a for loop going from zero to 9999 and it's going to take all the, it's gonna hash each one of those numbers and compare it to the hash from earlier. And sure enough, we found the passcode 5555 and this is the elapsed time. And this is the real time it took. So the last step is to learn how to salt something. And basically that means is you're just adding on a little random string to the end of each passcode, um, which will make it basically impossible to do what we just did in the last step. Um, so yeah, if this is your passcode you want to hash, one, two, three, four, then um, you still have an error here and it's because you need to, instead of Earlier we were doing passcode to hash, the data from that. Now we're going to do the salted passcode. And when we run this, you'll see that um, it's impossible to... I don't show it here, but if you went from 0 to 9999, then it would be um, impossible to um, get to this new hash, which we'll see right here. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, I don't really use this channel that often, um, but if you enjoyed it, sure, go ahead and like and subscribe, as they say. Um, I might post something later on um, about um, this odd experience of the WDC20. I might show my face on that video, I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I also might post some more tips later on about how I did this.